X, which is fantastic. I came across about the $15 million market cap, called into my group chat, my free group chat, uh, a 9X. So it's currently sitting around $163 million market cap, which is massive. But yeah, that's a roughly about 11X from when we actually came across it first. I'm a good merit. So this is your holy grail. This is your, we're looking to understand agents and why agents are popping off and, and where to find them because there's so many being launched every single day now. Uh, agents are ne the next evolution for me um, for um, meme coins because meme coins get rolled a lot and it's hard to find a good meme coin. And the difference with agents is it's agents who are in control of the token. So it's, unless you get a bad acting agent, you get bad actors and meme coins and everywhere in life, um, I haven't seen a bad acting agent. Generally speaking, your investment's pretty safe within reason. Uh, again, it's not financial advice, but generally speaking, agents don't dump on their holders. So it's a little bit of a safer haven compared to um, meme coins. But what Cookie that fund does, it is like a coin market cap or it's like coin gecko. And it's an index that only shows the AI agents and the ecosystems that they operate in. So the ecosystems, you might be thinking, what is the ecosystem of AI agents? You have like Toppad, you have Eliza, the A16Z. Uh, DAO uh, guys and the virtuals. So those are the, the main uh, AI agent ecosystems at the moment. Majority of the market share going into virtuals and allies. Top pats on the way there as well, to be fair. But what Cookie does is that it lists all of the AI agents and there's pages and pages and pages in order to be fired every single day across the different chains as well. So you can see many of them on our base and it uh, categorizes them. And it also lists them in terms of two things. One, capitalization, which is a market cap. And then two, the attention to the scale. And those are pretty much the two most important tips that move needed. So if it gets enough hype and enough attention, it's going to be capitalized. It's going to get investments, you know, the, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, you know, that's basically how this works. So it's really, really smart. You can filter your listings here by the ecosystems. If I want to see just the AI16Z, the ELISA uh, tokens, I can go on and see just the ELISA uh, framework based agents. And the market share that goes with them, the engagement, the impression, the tweets, all that good stuff. Or I can just look at the entire things as well. So I can go and just look at the entire ecosystem. And right about now, you can see that the agent ecosystem is, uh, as a whole, is up, even though it's sold off like drastically in the last 24 hours, which is a big enough sell off in uh, the markets, um, it's still up 14.5% essentially. And with that sell off, you can see this mar marker here as well, this uh, chart representing the engagement. It's up 35.39% you know, in the last seven days, still including that massive like you know, sell-off right here. So um, yeah, it's getting so much tension. And in retrospect to capitalization, as an ecosystem, like, this is very like new and for to already have a $17.5 billion capitalization, that is massive, massive. And that's only with 960 agents tracked as well. So it's massive. And we know there's like hundreds being launched every day at this, at this point, platforms like virtuals and also through Eliza, et cetera. So what this does is one, it will show you the different ecosystems and you can filter that, but then two, it lists them and it gives you an idea of the mind share, which is a really, really poor metric because it will basically show you the amount of people that are talking about or speaking about that agent. So you can see AIXBT, which is essentially an alpha agent, which you know, it's a KOA, he's getting about 14.12 percent mind chip, which is fucking massive. Then if you look at the vision on that, it's 2.9% in the last seven days. So even with the sell-offs and even with the amount of attention that's coming into the agents, it's still like, you know, it's holding its own there. And the market cap is of $425 million still. And um, it also shows what the depreciation or the increasing is on the, um, the seven day outlook too. And uh, I'm moving into stuff that is different is it shows you the holders. It shows you the people that are speaking about it on Twitter, the top tweets. So this will actually direct you to people who are posting about agents on Twitter, and it'll show you the post as well. And then that is just pooling that as analytics and bringing it into give you average impressions and also the average engagement as well, which is really, really important. So as we said earlier, the squeaky wheel gets the, gets the, the oil. So if there's enough hype and enough chat about the agent, if it's commanding enough mind share. It's going to get capitalized. It's going to get that investment. People are going to start buying up because it's, it's a hype driven market. Everyone knows that. So this should be your holy grail. You should spend as much time as possible on this. Just learning about 
the agents, thinking into like what's moving on, where they're coming from, what ecosystem is surging, they're doing, what they're doing is different, identifying the agents and seeing ones that's similar to it or what they're building or what ecosystem they belong to, so on and so forth like that. So this is somewhere where I think everyone should be spending a lot of their time. I'm moving a significant portion of my portfolio into just agents and ecosystem based agents. So I'll be buying a lot of virtuals, I'll be buying a lot of AI 16Z, buying a lot of Zerebro because they are just doing things that's really, really different and market leading as well. And I can see this market cap going to 125 billion. You might think like that's crazy, like why even saying that, but that's in the realm of where the DeFi market cap went to in 2021. And it's very hard to actually playing DeFi to anybody. If I was to sit down and talk about liquidity pools and DeFi and everything that goes with potentialized finance, it's an awful lot harder to get the whole scope of what it does and how it can benefit you as an individual compared to these AI agents that can, you know, they're autonomous, they can, they're banked individuals that can go and do anything you can do, but better and faster. So there's a lot of room for these agents to grow. I think we're just at the very, very, very primitive stages of where this will, where this can be. And yeah, these ecosystems I'm showing here, it's, it's worth just paying attention to these and using copy dust one to uh, honor what's happening in the markets. So yeah, that's a deep dive on, on uh, cookie dot fund, the, the reason uh, why we use it. And obviously the reason why we're holding the token. If a lot of the attention is going to be coming to agents right now, the focal point is going to be going to cookie dot fund. You're going to spend a lot of time here. And that's why uh, the platform's pumping. Obviously you can see here, it's up 210% of the last seven days with a sell off. Yeah, guys, just wanted to share this with you because I think it's super important and, um, yeah, any questions hit me up and yeah, catch you in the next call.